Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video, and I post new videos every Tuesday and Thursday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. So today is going to be a book talk, and I'm going to do a lot of my book talk videos in front of my bookcases. So this case here has all of like my fictional reads, and then this has all of my Christian nonfiction like devotionals um lifestyle books biographies and things like that so i decided to do my book talks in this area i have me some tea in my hello gorgeous mug i am sipping on some bigelow hearty spiced pumpkin spice tea this has become my new favorite tea like ever and i've been trying tea with milk and creamer i have some pumpkin spice creamer in here you guys it is heaven it it's amazing Between this with some pumpkin spice creamer and vanilla chai with French vanilla creamer to die for. But today's video is going to be on the book Fervent by Priscilla Shire. This is a woman's battle plan for serious, specific, and strategic prayer. This is written by Priscilla Shire. And if you guys don't know who she is, I will tell you. So Miss Priscilla Shire played in the movie War Room as Elizabeth, which was the main female character. And um, this is Elizabeth here. If you haven't seen this movie, go see it. And she has also written a middle grade series called the Prince Warrior series. And um, I have the prequel here, which is called The Winter War, which is all about um, the armor of God for little boys because she, do has, she does have three sons. But um, we're going to dive into what this book is about, my thoughts on this book and why I loved it so much, because I can tell you right now, I loved it. I'm a huge fan of Miss Priscilla Shire. She talks a lot about the armor of God, and she's just a phenomenal woman. She is the daughter of Pastor Tony Evans and the sister of the gospel singer Anthony Evans, who I love both of them. Her father is also an author, is also an author and her brother actually just wrote a book, which I'm hoping to get my hands on next week but um i love them both so i will leave links down below for where you can check her out on instagram and youtube and things like that i do watch a lot of her sermons she's just such a phenomenal woman with a phenomenal spirit but fervent so as it says this book is all about prayer being specific with it being serious about it and being strategic and this is a book that's more so on spiritual warfare and I know a lot of you guys have asked me to do videos on spiritual warfare, and I'm not super confident in doing that. Um, but what I will do concerning that is have some discussions with my first lady or probably have a sit down video with her so she can talk about it with you guys. But um, yeah, this book, as you can see, is all tabbed up. And this was just from the first round of me reading it. I did do a bunch of st um, studies. I did one with Miss Carla R. Cannon on what was it? periscope i think it was i will leave a link down below if i can find it to her youtube channel where she went through the whole entire book and the book is phenomenal it goes through 10 different ways that the enemy attacks you so the first strategy would be your passion the second one is your focus you have your identity your family your past your fears and you, then you have your purity, your pressures, your hurts, and your relationships. And these are basically 10 ways in which the enemy can have a foothold within your life and really attack you. And at the, at the back of the book, it specifically says you have an enemy and he is dead set on destroying all, your, all you hold dear. He does it strategically, he does it specifically, and he is doing it right this minute. In fact, aimed at personally drawn targets on your heart, your home, your mind, and your life. So, um... This is just amazing. Each chapter really exposes ways in which the enemy attacks you. And all 10 chapters will have you boohooing and crying. I underlined, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it on camera, but I underlined through this book. I've highlighted, I mean, this was just the first round of me going through this book. I'm debating on getting a second copy or just going back again with another pen and marking up. So I'm just going to go chapter by chapter discussing what I like, and I'm, I'm hoping this is not going to be a long video. But um, So it starts off with This Means War, and it really just tells you that this is um, a battlefield. You're not fighting against the flesh. You're not fighting against other people. You're fighting within the spirit realm, and everything that takes place in the earthly realm happens in the spirit realm. So if you're dealing and struggling with something um, in your life, then you have to look at it in a spiritual mindset because it's something that's going on in the spiritual realm that's manifesting itself in your physical life. So um, she goes into opening and in prayer and she talks about how, I think it was her grandmother. Um, 
yeah it's about her grandmother and how her grandmother really like used to write all her prayers out and had like prayer notebooks and prayer journals and stuff like that with answered prayers and she just goes through different things like that um and what i like is that she says that the fuel that drives everything is prayer prayer is kind of like the glue that keeps things going which i totally can agree with her on that then she dives into the 10 different strategies um telling you how he does it she then gives a um acronym for pray which is praise repentance asking and yes and then she also gives an acronym for prayer which is prayer releases all your eternal resources and your eternal resources are basically the heavenly powers and blessings that you have so um it really dives in and then she just immediately goes into the first strategy now for me my favorite chapters and i'm, I'm looking down because i'm actually looking through the book but um my favorite chapters really have to be um my past well it's strategy six i mean strategy five which is about your past tra strategy nine which is about your hurts and then strategy 10 about your relationships um so i'm actually gonna go to strategy five and read the first paragraph for you guys because i love the way she broke it down so i'm at strategy five hopefully the lighting isn't too bright but strategy five which starts on page 93 and it says strategy five your past ending the reign of guilt shame and regret so she starts off by saying, if I were your enemy, I'd constantly remind you of your past mistakes and poor choices. I'd want to keep you burdened by shame and guilt in hopes that you'll feel incapacitated by your many feelings and see no point in even trying again. I'd work to convince you that you've had your chance and blown it, that your God may be able to forgive some people for some things, but not you, not for this. Um, and then after she gives you a brief kind of synopsis or inside a look of what the enemy kind of thinks towards you and really getting to you she then breaks it down of saying that you know using i'm sorry let me just go back okay so she says using your forgiven past to poke holes in your future that he absolutely loves living in the past and that some of his best opportunities to sabotage your potential comes from your past which is so true the enemy definitely would get at me with my past mistakes and past choices because i didn't have the best um upbringing not upbringing because my parents did a great job but i didn't have the best um view of life as a kid um, and I told you guys I'll discuss that in like my series that I'm doing with my testimony. But she also says that if he can't make us feel judged, he'll try to turn us into judges. Under more constructive circumstances, we might actually be able to learn from it, which means that our past mistakes are supposed to um, teach us something, not make us feel guilty and shame because God doesn't want us to feel that way. He wants us to feel loved. He wants us to feel forgiven. But a lot of us, and I know for me for a fact, I struggled with that for a long time with my past mistakes that I did. Um, I mean, there were so many things that burdened me down and I felt like I couldn't get past it because I felt like God couldn't forgive me. Like maybe he forgive me this time, but if I mess up again, you know, he won't forgive me again. So I, I really enjoy the way she breaks it down. And I mean, I was highlighting for days. And then she does a section called Call for Prayer in each chapter in which she gives you ideas of how to pray and then she gives you scriptures so this book is heavily set on um doing scriptural prayer putting scripture over your life and i'm so for it which is why i started a prayer journal um but i'm sorry i'm looking this way to make sure i'm good on time but um you know she goes into different scriptures and i highlighted these scriptures i don't know if you guys can see but i went through and i was highlighting scriptures in, in um purple highlighter so you know it it's phenomenal if you're not looking for a book that's going to hit you hard in the heart, don't read this because this book will not necessarily convict you, but it will 100% remind you of who, what you thought of yourself and um, make you see where you're going wrong in your life personally. Um, she holds no bars in this book. She has no regard to your sensitivity. This is a type of book that will have you crying on the pages, scribbling in the pages, um i mean it's amazing there's also notes section and i'm actually going to insert a photo um here of the little prayer cards that come in the back in which you can actually write your own personalized prayers because after she gives you the scriptures and ideas to pray she gives you the opportunity to pray those scriptures over your life in those 10 specific areas which i loved i have mine right now on my prayer wall over there which i actually need to update but um, i keep them on my wall over there and this book is just 
so phenomenal i highly suggest you guys get this i highly suggest you guys watch war room if you haven't and then read fervent because those are phenomenal priscilla shire is a woman of just such magnificent power when it comes to prayer as well as the armor of god i strongly agree with majority of the things that was in this book this book when i say it had me crying you guys i was in tears this is a book that i recommended to other people and they loved it um i'm definitely going to be doing another book club with this but probably going to be doing one that's more on a video status rather than how i did it in the facebook group because i feel like this book is one that needs to be read once a year um it will renew you renew your mind renew your spirit renew your heart and just get you focused on praying specifically strategically and seriously um i'm going to also have a video on how to create a prayer journal because i have was requested on i'm um, doing that kind of video and i have ideas to do that because i have so many blank journals down here at the bottom but um i highly recommend this by priscilla shire you will not regret it you will be so thankful and so grateful for having read this book because it will change your life so do i re recommend this yes get it as soon as you can you can get a physical copy you can get an ebook copy i don't even know if they have an audiobook if they did get it too um but yeah fervent by priscilla shire is amazing and war room is amazing get both of these you'll need it so that's all you guys for this video um i don't want to keep these book talks long i just want to keep them under 15 minutes and yeah so if you haven't already Links are down below on Amazon, to christianbook.com, um, to Barnes and Nobles, to anywhere I can find. Get this book. It will make you just, it'll change your life. But um, if you read this book, let me know what you guys' thoughts were on this book. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.